The Lebanon Trail wrestling team has the season pinned down as they take their skills to the mat. The season's actually going really well. We've had a couple big wins for duels. We've beaten a couple uh, teams inside of a district that we weren't able to beat last year. Everyone's doing really well. We have some JV guys that are coming out strong and uh, our new varsity freshmen are doing really well. Been right there in a lot of our competitions. Like I think we're just inches away from breaking on through. The team has wrestled with some challenges beyond their opponents. Nobody wrestles really before they get to high school. So um, wrestling is kind of like has like a two year period where it's like you're just trying to figure out what you're doing. Uh, I have to overcome my concussion to finish off through the year for districts and we've had a lot of uh, setbacks with how many people are attending our tournaments. They've seen improvements from last year with this season shaping up to be their best yet. So the boys team won a tournament this year. We never won a varsity tournament before. Um, but they went ahead and won one, and then the girls have, have really competed well. We had a home tournament, uh, our first tournament at the beginning of the season, and we had seven wrestlers placed in the top three of the tournament. So. Hit my 100th win um, overall throughout all four seasons. I've placed first at at least three tournaments. They're hoping to keep their footing for the remainder of the season. So I want to um, be district champ, regional champ, and then place at the state competition. So We just need to keep getting more uh, wrestlers in the program, you know, starting to learn, especially on the girls' side. You know, we can only feel like five or six of the girls' weights. There's ten weights total. So I think we're going to keep really focusing on that for our push here. You know, obviously postseason state push, but then after that we're going to keep pushing on trying to get more members. I'm Nathan Lowenstein for Vanguard TV.